Aaron Rodgers going to take it from the shotgun. Too much pressure, and he's brought down again. Seven-yard loss on the play. What's going down, folks? It's your boy Seth back at you again with another quick video. This time I'm actually talking Madden 25 defensive strategy, more specifically the 4-3 under defense. What I was most curious about was whether the uh, will punch three seam defense actually allows me to get edge pressure the way it does in NCAA 14. And the answer to that question, folks, is obviously yes. I mean, that's why we're all here. That's why I'm doing a video. As you can see, Got Cliff Averill coming off clean off the edge right there and goes untouched to sack Aaron Rodgers. So the way this works is you got to pick the 4-3 defense, 4-3 under defense, that is, and then choose the will punch three seam play. Um, you want to spread your linebackers as well as your D-line. Also want to move the right defensive end all the way over, at least one notch, and then you blitz them down. What that should do, it should allow him to come free and just smack the quarterback. I mean, it's that simple. I mean, it, it takes a few tries, you know, to get used to it because it is a few steps. But as you can see, it's pretty effective. Um, I messed around with it for about, I don't know, 20 plays or so. And I say I got home clean to the quarterback maybe a good 14, 15 times. So it's, it's pretty effective if you're doing it right, that is. Um, oh, and before I forget, I want to give props to Cody Ballard. He's actually the dude who uh, inspired me to do this video. I'm going to actually leave a link to his channel in my uh, description box because there's tons of information. If you guys are looking for tutorials and strategy and whatnot, this guy is definitely one of the go-to guys that I found on YouTube that has a lot of resources for you. So, again, props to Cody Ballard. Now, I'm not sure if I told you a moment ago, once you spread the D-line, before you actually blitz the right defensive end, you also want to crash the defensive line down into the right. That makes a big difference. If you don't do it, a lot of times what will happen is the, the offensive line will, will pick up the blitz that's coming. And more than likely, it'll take a second longer for that linebacker that's blitzing to get home. And that's just from my experience. But if you do it correctly and you actually spread the line, crash down to the right, and then move the defensive end over and then blitz the defensive end, the defensive end will take that loop and actually get to the quarterback pretty much untouched. So that's a pretty key step. So don't forget to do that, folks. Now, in this coverage, uh, the underneath stuff should be pretty covered for the most part. But what I like to do is also take control of that outside linebacker that's not blitzing, the one that's dropping back in the coverage. Um, if you just let him go, he'll drop way deep in the coverage. I don't like that. I like to kind of keep him kind of in the middle of the field so he can come up and play um, you know, the underneath stuff, make a tackle, maybe get a pick or something. See, if you look at it, the dude is way deep. He's about freaking 15 yards deep. I kind of want to move him up a little bit and kind of keep him in that area, maybe within five to seven yards, just so he can come up and make a play on the ball if they try to dump something short. So that's just me. Um, you know, you do have safety help over the top. So if you're really concerned about getting beat, you don't really have to drop him that far back. You can bring him up. Um, just kind of keep them in that intermediate range. That's just my thoughts on that. But again, it's all about getting pressure. If everything's done correctly, that the pass shouldn't even be a factor, um, in my opinion. I mean, there's hardly any time for the dude to get the pass off that you're playing against. So just a little something to keep in mind. So just a quick recap on the 4-3 under D. We'll punch three seam play. First thing you want to do is you want to spread your linebackers out wide. You want to spread your D linemen out wide as well as uh, crash them down into the right. You want to take the far right defensive end. You want to move them one space over and send them on a blitz assignment down. If done correctly, you should get unabated to the quarterback. Easy money, right? So that's my time, folks. I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, go ahead and check out my other videos. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that wonderful stuff. Also, shout out to Cody Ballard once again. Appreciate it. Also, don't forget the subscriber giveaway. Get your free copy of Madden 25. That's my time, folks. So I'll see you in the next video.